fighters that Crawford fought were handicapped. You know what I'm saying? Look, Errol Spence just announced about his cardiac, his eye and stuff. Um, Jose Benavides, when he fought him, he had a, he had a shot leg. When he um, and then who's the other fighter that he faced that they try to make it a big thing and he was injured too? Kell Brook with his eye. So every fighter that Crawford has faced throughout the 147 division, whether it looks good on paper, they've been injured. The fighters that so that was Tiafimo Lopez, pretty much trying to decimate the resume of Terrence Crawford. And to be honest with y'all, I don't know what's possessing Tiafimo to really go off the rails like this about Terrence Crawford's resume because it's it's senseless. If he thinks this is gonna garner him a fight, maybe he maybe it might. Because Bud might want to punish him, or maybe he just pushing the fight further away from him. You know, these dudes kill me though. When they got work to do in their own division, they always want to use other uh, dudes in other weight classes to try to justify ducking dudes in their own weight class. It seems like that's what these dudes be doing, man. You got you got Sabriel Matias, you got Devin Haney down there with a belt now. You know what I'm saying? Roly, he probably ain't gonna fight Roly because him and Roly is friends. They probably on that friendship bullshit. So he decides to pick Terrence Crawford, pick on Terrence Crawford and decide to make him the guy that look like he's he want to do something big instead of becoming chances himself at his own division trying to be undisputed. You know, like he wanted to be at 135, right? So you got some real killers at 140. You got Sabriel Matias, you got Devin, uh, Shit, who's the other? He got a belt, okay. The, the Roly thing, I don't know how that's gonna happen. But you got other dudes that that's threats. You got Gary Antoine Russell up there. Shit, even the Regis program be a good fight for Tio. But for some reason, he this dude is fuck with Bud. I'm trying to figure out where it came from because Bud was like, "Yo, I see this dude. He'll never say nothing to me. He don't got nothing to say." But now he got something to say. Like first, bro. There's no way in the world Tiafimo Lopez can say anything about the resume of Terrence Crawford. He's done nothing, nowhere near as much as Terrence Crawford's done in boxing. Tio, I mean, let's be honest, man. He, he's only at one weight division. He just now got the 140. He ain't fought nobody at 140, really, but he fought Josh Taylor, who should have been moved up to welterweight already. He was a great Josh Taylor. All right, I give Tio that. He got the belt. But what have, what have you done at 140? You just started. 135, he fought Lomachenko, good, he got the belts from Loma, then he got his ass whooped by Cambosis, lost his fucking belts, like, come on, man, you can talk about Bud's resume, but you can't talk about him as a fighter, he know he can, because that's why he kept saying, yo, he's a great fighter, but dudes be killing me with that shit, man, how can you say somebody's a, a great fighter, but then you say they opponents is trash, in order to be a great fighter, right, don't you gotta fight great people to be a great fighter? So, in other words, if, if if Bud's resume is garbage, that means he can't fight, right? He's been fighting nobody, so T.O., you know, as far as T.O.'s concerned, then that means Bud's not a skillful fighter. He knocked, and he had the nerve, the audacity, he said, T.O., you know, he was saying the same stuff people were saying before before Bud fought Arrow. Oh, uh, yeah, he fought a wash, Kell Brook with a broken face already. T.O. didn't even mention that uh, Arrow fought a broken uh a fight before the broken face Kell Brook too from triple g nobody talks about that then he talks about uh jose benavidez with a bum leg all right cool benavidez was still a decent fighter with that bum leg but bud just got him out of there late it happens so what never was hurt in that fight nothing hi and then <laughs> He looked bad against Sando Martin, ended up getting knocked down by Sando Martin, but got the nerve to talk about Jose Benavidez, who's a better fighter than Sando Martin, and didn't even knock Bud down. Can't be serious, bro. You can't be serious. And then, no, not the, and also, then he, then he talked about, um, uh, skipped over Sean Porter, glanced over him. Then he talked about, uh, Errol Spence, man. I'm like, wait a minute, before the fight, you had Spence beating Bud. I remember hearing Tio correctly. He said Bud was going to lose the arrow. Now, all of a sudden, this is what I told y'all. See, the, the excuses. Arrow Spence is leading the pack now, man. We can't no longer just say it's his fanboys. 
we got a whole Errol accountable now because he came out, he set the, he laid the fucking foundation for all of excuses with that tweet. That's why he deleted it because he know he fucked up. And this was already ha this was gonna happen. I told y'all this like last year before that fight that you was gonna hear excuses and, and, and it was gonna get out of hand. And here we are. Then you got other fighters big piggybacking off of that, such as Tiafimo Lopez trying to uh discredit and bash Terrence Crawford for his win against Errol Spence. He tried to take it, you know, uh, downplay that win by saying Errol Spence's eye was messed up, his ribs was broke. Oh, he called it uh and then he don't know how to then he don't know the right words to say he called it cataracts his, his cadillac his cadillac bro that, that's what he said right his cadillac if i'm like a rebel correct he said his cataract his cadillac was messed up like, what the fuck are you talking about dude really but learn how to talk proper first before you try to bash real fighters that's accomplished more than you man you know so Bud went in on him and said what he had to say, man. And man, I hope they run. I hope Bud run into this dude. I hope he got all that to say to Bud when he see him. I, I really do. These are one of them times where I would love to see one of these little young dudes get gaffled up by the OGs. I would love to see that. And I would love to see Bud whoop his ass. I would love to see that. Please, T.O., go up to 147 so Bud can whoop your ass and, and put you out of commission and fuck your rest of your boxing career up, man. Because you, you just uh, it's, what is it? Pick on Bud season. I think it's a lot of hate, man. It's just it's hate. It's hate. They see the dude shot it. He came in and beat up. They poster boy. They could. They dude still got their face balled up for losing money on Spence. All type of shit. I know what it's about. But listen, too bad. Errol Spence lost. Get over it. To you have no right disrespecting his resume. You fought really you, Loba was your best win yeah you fought you fought Cam, but you got your ass beat for Josh taylor good for you look crappy against sandor martin you barely beat pedro campo nobody know who the hell pedro campo is nobody heard of him um you beat uh richard kobe then you kind of struggled with fucking nakatani he said you ain't want to fight tall fighters no more what kind of warrior says that come on to you man you you barking up the wrong tree with terrence crawford man but anyway let me know what y'all think about Tia Fimo Lopez disrespecting the resume of Terrence Crawford. This is Rebel Life Boxing. Catch y'all later on the next one. And I'm out.